Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Ballinger and I'm trying something new today. Um, I haven't posted in a while and the things I have posted have been Lego creations. Today, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm trying something new. Almost for a year now, I've been learning a 3D software called Blender. And basically this video is gonna teach you how to do some stuff in that company. So if you don't have that company already, I highly suggest that you download it and get it all set. It's free and it is great. This is a five minute tutorial explaining how to use Blender. Today we are going to be modeling a garbage can. We'll start by left clicking and deleting that cube. And then we're gonna press add mesh cylinder. Then press tab to get into edit mode. On face mode, select every two vertices. Then you're gonna press I and then kind of indent it a little bit. Press S to scale, and then go into wireframe frame mode. Scale the bottom down. On solid mode, you're gonna extrude the bottom just a tiny bit, and then press S to scale it up. Extruding means you can pull out an additional part to your mesh. Then you're gonna extrude it down to create the bottom and then you're going to go to the loop cut tool and cut the bottom. Then scale that by pressing S. Then you're gonna take the top and do the same thing. Extrude it. And scale it. And then you're going to extrude it up and loop cut and then scale it down. Next is the lid. So you're going to extrude it up just a little bit. Press S and extrude it out more. And extrude it out longer. And then you're going to grab it and pull it down. it by pressing S to scale it up and down to get it to the right shape. Then you're going to go to edge, select, wireframe, select, box select that top, and press F, which is going to fill the top. Now you're going to go to face select and extrude the top. Then press S to scale it down and kind of have a bevel, bevel roof. Next is the handle. You're gonna add in a box or a cube, and then you're going to scale it down, pressing S. Then you're gonna scale it on the Y axis. How you do that is you just press S, Y. Now you're gonna select the two sides and press I to indent and then S to kind of extrude them. Then you select the bottom edges and extrude them down. Then you're gonna select it by pressing L and move it down. Then you're gonna add a modifier, the bevel modifier, which kind of makes it beveled, and then a subdivision surface modifier, which makes it smooth. Next, we're gonna add some dents. So you're gonna loop cut, and if you just hold down the loop cut and then drag it, you can actually move it. You're gonna box select some edges, and then you're going to hop to your side view and pull them in to create dent marks. Do that throughout this model in a couple different places. Then you're gonna left click and press shade smooth. You can make your own texture in the texture tab and adjust it on your own, or you can use polygon and select a metal material that will work great. I'm choosing this one, which works great. 
all you have to do is download it and apply it to your trash can or whatever you're modeling. Select everything and then press U and select Smart UV Project. Thank you guys so much for watching this little video that I made. And I will hopefully be making a lot of these five minute tutorials where I kind of explain to you how you model some stuff in Blender. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.